Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video you will learn how you can easily move image or animate image in Movavi Video Editor Plus. So let's start. First I have my clip here of Spider-Man looking on a down and flying here and there. And let's say that I want to add an image, an arrow or a logo and just move it freely. I'm going to show you how the keyframes work, how you can animate in Movavi Mova Video Editor Plus. So let's start. The first thing what you want to do is just add an extra track and add video track. When you have it, now you want to do is go to media file, file import, add files and add your logo or whatever. Now what I will have it here in media bin, I will take it and paste it under my timeline. When I have it on my timeline. Now here's the question. How can I uh, what do you need to do first? First, you need to change the size. So you will go to settings to more. Now you want to do go to where is it? Double click on it. Yep. Double click on your mm, logo or just your object and just click here picture in picture. And you will have it here. You can zoom it. You can play with it like whatever you want. Now uh, you can make it smaller, bigger whatever when i'm going to click here to more i will have here the animation there are two actually ways how we can animate the first one is easy animation that you got many animations here you can use or we will have advanced and we will look on it later okay so let's start with the easy what we are going to do i will first use the slide and i will take it and paste it on my video and now as you can see Okay. See, we got amazing slide. You can just take those keyframes and just make them longer, shorter, whatever. The, right now, when I'm going to play it, it's going to be really slow. Yep, it's really slow. So when I make it to the beginning and I'm making really short, look at that. <clears throat> or even shorter, like this. Look. Let's see. So this is the first option. All you have to do is again, double click on it. If you want to have a different kind of move it and uh, rotate it and make it, mm, you know, smaller, bigger, you go always here. Okay, and now let's start different animations and then we will go to keyframes and I will teach you how you can make keyframes, okay? So first, let's remove these keyframes, like right clicking on them and remove keyframe and also remove this keyframe. Now I'm going to make the tumble V. So right now you can see I have it here and again, Let's see. Let's play it. Okay. And now, as you can see, it goes. And. Yep. You can also again play with it. Honestly, these keyframes are the hardest of every editing program I've ever did. I'll be demoing right now to you. These keyframes are much harder to play with comparing to DaVinci Resolve, comparing to Shotcut, Sony Vegas, InShot, comparing even to, um, I don't even know how the Hit Film Express. I, mean, I, edit, I have you know, hundreds of tutorials in video editing programs and these keyframes are the hardest. Right now I'm going to show you how to add animation. So let's just delete my file again and let's go and paste my file here when i go to settings to uh first let's double click on it picture in picture again let's paste it like here now what i'm gonna do is let's that i'm going to put it here and i'm going to settings animation advanced add animation and right now as you can see i got two keyframes here the first keyframe means the starting position and the second keyframe 
means the ending position. When I'm going to put it like here, you can rotate it, make it whatever. So this is how you can make it. Look at that. And now when I'm going to play it, look, it automatically zooms. It seems simple, but to figure this out myself, it took me such a long time. And now you can also do the, like you can add keyframe. So let's say that we want to have. Okay, so let's say that here we are going to add keyframe and we want it to stay here. At this position, we want it to also stay here. And at this position, we want to go here. So look what will happen. It will stay, stay, and let's make it longer. So look, stay, and now it moves. Now what you can do also is let's uh, rotate it and then we will change opacity. So again, add keyframe. Now uh, it will start rotating like this. Let's see what will happen. Nothing. So again, you need to do what I thought that is necessary. To rotate like this then you want to add keyframe and rotate it like this and then you want to add keyframe and rotate it like this if i'm not mistaken yep and now the next thing you want to change the opacity so i will add keyframe and i will change opacity to zero percent so let's play it and let's see how it looks like so again, it stops, stops, moves, and fade out opacity. This is how you can do it. I mean, it was a struggle. It's a struggle to animate. And I will show you what, what can happen. This is also what, what mistakes I did. I'm going to remove, uh, like, finding, removing all keyframes took me such a long time. And I will explain why, what struggle I had. The first thing was that when I wanted to delete my whole then let's say that I, I'm, I'm clicking here and I clicked on my keyframe. Look what, what happens when I press delete. My whole, everything goes away. Everything is like, it, it, it struggles. Like, because I wanted to delete this keyframe, but what I need to do is right click on it and then remove keyframe. Why? Why I just can press delete and it would everything be deleted. This is what fascinates me. And now another thing, which is like, so I'm so mad at this. So I have myself a, a screen. When I double click on it. Okay. And okay, no, 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 I will show you. Let's delete. Let's add media file. Why the hell I can't edit it? Okay, I have an overlay overlap, but I just can't play with it. Tools. Oh, why I can't do that? I need to go to overlay, press picture to picture, and then I can do it. Why? In every other program, you can do it straight away. Literally, you can do it straight away. And now, look, look what will happen. I'm going to settings, I'm going to animations, and I'm going to press easy. Okay. But in the moment when I click advanced animation, look. It just, and then this remove all keyframes just makes me mad. This makes me really mad. I hope you understand how keyframes works in this program, because honestly, I don't understand it to this time, how it actually works and how you should make keyframes. I know how to do them, but I'm so mad at this program. So that's kind of it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> You can support me and subscribe. I'd be really thankful for that. And have a great day. Let's deal with this.
Yeah. Thank you and goodbye.